You're joining us once again for a micro mini lightning weekend wrap up. And as always, I'm joined by the at the news desk by my friend and co-host. This is Eric. And Eric, we have much to talk about today. And as always, we have 10 minutes, 10 minutes to do it. We're going to bring 10 minutes to bring the news that these people need. They need to know, Eric. And today we've got a doozy for him. So here we go. Three, two, one. Eric, Zuckerberg has been in the news. Are you familiar with the Zuckerberg man? Do you know Mr. Zuckerberg? Yeah, I need the homeless man down in downtown. That yes. keeps exposing himself. Yes, that is Mr. Zuckerberg. <laughs> uh, Mr. Zuckerberg, though, runs, Zuckerberg. Oh, yeah. runs the, the Facebook. The he's, Facebook, yes. He's the robot that runs the, runs the Facebook. Yeah, the lizard man. Lizard man. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever he is, he doesn't show much emotion. But apparently he showed in... In a very rare instance of emotion, he showed some excitement about a new technology that he wants to develop. What's that? It is a mind-reading device. Okay. <laughs> that, you know, he's the closest thing we have to a villain, like to, a, a maniacal villain. I know. It, it does seem like something that Mr. Burns would pull out. Or Megamind. Megamind would pull out. It's a, it's, it is. So. What? Zuck, do what? What? I just don't get it. You don't get it? Okay. Well, let me. Uh, break let, it down for me. Let me break this down for you. So Zuckerberg, he dropped by the, dropped by, uh, let's see, Harvard University, I guess. As you do last month as part of a year of conversations with experts on the role of technology in society, the opportunities, the challenges and the anxiety, his nearly two hour interview with Harvard law school, professor Jonathan Zittrain in front of Facebook cameras and a, which is a great place for him where he's, which is it just not seems a, natural. It's not a Supreme court camera. Like he has <laughs> oh, yeah, congressional congressional hearing. hearing yes. Um, so he's, you know, he's, he's wanting this technology. He, he's very excited about this technology that is going to, uh, m take augmented reality. Okay. And, you know, he, he's talked about how it's going to, uh, be able to move. He said they'll, they'll have things where, you know, you'll be, you'll see furniture and you'll be able to move it around to kind of see how it look in your house okay. before, you, before you buy. But Zuckerberg wants this mind reading machine to do things that will, uh, you know, he, he does say, I mean, he does, he does mention that you want to make something that people will use and, you know, putting something actually under the skin, people might have a problem with. Oh, uh, implanting forcibly implanting people is not his route. Right. I mean, he not was, at the time he was joking about it. <laughs> I mean, as you do, you know, hilarious jokes uh, that he, this man makes. But OK, uh, it's the technology that D Zuckerberg is describing is a shower cap looking device that surrounds a brain and discovers connections between particular thoughts and particular blood flows or brain activity, activity presumably to assist the, the glasses or headsets manufactured by the Oculus VR, which is part of Facebook already. Yeah, I keep getting ads for the VR. Do you want to experience Facebook in VR? No, I'm good. Okay. You not seen those ads? I have not, actually. Oh wow! Yeah, you're not on Facebook very often. I'm not. I actually never. I have yeah, you're deleted. not. On. I have stepped away. I still have an Did account. You, yeah, you, yeah, you have an account. I have an account floating out there, but I really only used Facebook ever for like look, getting on and looking at pictures of my nieces and nephews and that sort of thing. But I uh, yeah, I, the ads are all over it now. Experience like VR, Facebook for VR, VR for Facebook, whatever it is. But I guess if we actually have a uh, you know. We have people, I get emails every once in a while that people are visiting our Facebook page. So maybe we should get back out there. I don't know. But uh, it says that, you know, and I love this. It says already Zuckerberg said researchers can distinguish when a person is thinking of a giraffe or an elephant based on neural activity. Typing with your mind would work off of the same principle. So instead of, as he puts it, 
being hampered by the keyboard and mouse to be distracted, you would just be able to have thoughts and it would appear on the screen. Not only that, but I'm sure Zuckerberg would love to take your thoughts and sell them to the highest bidder. Yeah, no joke. To, I mean, to put them out there. Talk so. about privacy concerns. Well, that's, uh, that's, that's what the writer of this article for Wired.com is saying, is that this, is, this would make things uh, a little sketchy. Talk about thought police. Yes. Or, yeah, I mean, we've kind of already gotten in the realm of expression police, like, don't get me in that, but thought police, gosh. Oh, my goodness. Who controls their thoughts that well? I know I don't. Well, here's my thought. Okay. I mean, I already got it. Uh, you already got it. You already know it. Yeah. If you're typing with your mind, I'm sorry. I get a little distracted. <laughs> I've, I've, got a, I've got a little bit of ADHD. And so imagine typing with your mind and then all of a sudden, like, I'm... I'm writing a paper for my class on like for the, my most recent paper is on career counseling. That was my, that was my last class. I would, I would love to turn something into my professor that is following a single thought and then goes off on like rice crispy treats I'd or something like that. My like, hero academia, my hero academia, which I have, I'm wearing a shirt of right now, but I mean, I, I could just see myself going off on like, like a whole five paragraphs of I like Rice Krispie treats, like, and hungry. here's why. Yeah, it's like it's like ah, oh, there's some candies in the house. I need to go get some candy. Be because here's what I know, even especially if I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, I I'm gonna forget to take the headset off and be walking around like, be like hey pond, be like hey pond, <laughs> oh hey, there's a thing of. Rice Krispie <laughs> tree, or hey, there's. Do I want like, this Pond, one? Do you need to go outside? Yeah, do you need? Are you hungry? And Pond has one on too, and he's like, "Feed me now, human." You know, yeah. I mean, yeah. We could finally read the thoughts of dogs, <laughs> which would just be food, food, human, food, <laughs> water outside, <laughs> squirrel. So here's here's something that Zuckerberg explains the potential benefits of the technology this way when he announced Facebook's research in 2007. Our brains produce enough data to stream four HD movies every second. The problem is that the best way we have to get information out onto the world, speech, can only transmit about the same amount of data as a 1980s modem. Okay. We're working on a system that will let you type straight from your brain about five times faster than you can type on your phone today. Eventually, we want to turn it into a wearable technology that can be manufactured at, at scale even a simple yes no brain click would make things get augmented real make things like augmented reality feel much more natural my problem with that is i already don't care about twitter or instagram nor most facebook things it would be a, a, a stream of consciousness in all areas of your life and i don't want to dip my toe into anyone else's stream of consciousness i have to deal with my own every day i have this I have no desire if this ever comes to fruition to be a part of it. Well, and that's the, I, I think that that's a, I don't know. I agree with you. I think that there is a, a major issue with privacy and that sort of thing. You, you're right. Thought police and that sort of thing are gonna, are going to be a, a major issue with that. I mean, there's a lot of implications there. Especially, I mean, people already put nonsense on Facebook anyway. Can you imagine if they have something strapped to their head? Yeah. And it's, it's posting their thoughts. Five times faster. Yeah. I know people that post some, something every like 10 minutes. Yeah. And, they, and, and literally they'll post, hey, I'm hungry. Yeah. Which would be about my post every five seconds. <laughs> but yeah, I, I just, I, I honestly don't, in, in a social arena see the benefit of this that's me but of course i might have said the same thing about internet oh, if yeah. i was if i was around reading articles about that back in the in the 80s well, so and it's hard to believe that i can only talk at the speed of a modem that went you know Where you, you, where's your modem at? i just heard it go off i know i know by the way just i wanted to bring up another story that's been big but uh 
there is a story of a woman that got mauled by a jaguar, and this is proof that some people shouldn't be allowed to have their thoughts on yeah on a computer. But this woman was apparently taking a selfie, which she actually denies, but she was taking a selfie, went past some barriers that were apparently clearly marked, and ended up getting mauled by a jaguar. All the right. jaguar is not being put to death, but she was... But she is. Yeah, but she is. Now, she is very apologetic. She is She is taking uh, credit for her mistake. She but... said, I'm taking ownership of it, except for my lies that I didn't want to get a selfie. I just wanted to get near and pet it. Right. Like, I wanted to get right there. I can imagine that the selfie was her taking a picture, smiling, and the jaguar was, like, right behind her about the... He snuck up on me. Yeah, like, it's... <laughs> Hey, me and my homies. Like, and no, he just photobombed my uh, my selfie. He photobombed. Like, I'm suing you for how, your Jaguar doing that. How dare you photobomb my selfie? Well, Eric, we have run out of time. However, there is time one minute okay. for a segment that I like to call Eric brings you the news. Eric tells you the news. I'll tell you the news. Eric tells you the news. Yeah. yeah that's the jingle. Okay. Yeah. All right, so in one minute, I'm going to read to you headlines, and you tell me what that story is about. Okay. All right. Three, two, <laughs> one. All right. Hordes of vultures take over South Jersey town. What is this story about, Eric? Uh, Walking Dead. Uh, clearly, Jersey ha- is filled with zombies. That's no, no change, but the vultures have finally found it. Okay, so vultures are taking over just like The Walking Dead. So it's The Flying Dead. Yeah, I mean, but it's Jersey. Okay. California's marijuana industry needs an intervention to avoid an extinction event. What is that story about? Uh, There's so much pot being grown in uh, California that they they aren't growing any crops anymore. And so therefore no one has any food. All right. Forgetting works brain harder than remembering. What? Forgetting works brain harder (laughs) than remembering. Ah, I got that. Uh, False. All right. Time is up. Oh, if you want to learn more about those stories, you can look them up and you can tell us if Eric was right or not. All right, Eric, why don't you tell them where they can find us? You can find us all over the big, beautiful internet. Uh, by beautiful, I mean a apocalyptic scene of nightmare proportion that is brought to you by Zuckerberg. In fact, speaking of Zuckerberg, you can find us on Facebook. Just search for Pulpit Chair Podcast. Same for YouTube, uh, Podbean, iTunes, any podcasting app you can find us. If you're just already- think about Pod, just think about yeah. Facebook, and you'll be taken there. Just think about uh, the the year of the chair, <laughs> and you'll find us. Uh, so you can find us there. We have our own website, a puck podcast dot website, PUC podcast dot website. Why website? Why not? Uh, and that's about on Twitter at pull up a chair pod. Uh, if you have any questions or statements or you want to tell us how awful we are always happy to, to listen and agree with those statements. That's right. And just think Zuckerberg, he can sense when you're thinking about him. He has that kind of creepy robotic power. Have yourself a great day and try not to think too much about the Zuckerberg in your closet.